A common error we see with basketball code windows is how they label play calls. A very common setup that we see in code windows is what you're seeing on screen now, where they just have a bunch of labels on the screen with play call sheet titles above them. So for example, here we have early offense and then all the early offense plays. Here we have out of timeout with all the out of timeout plays. Here we have flow with all of the flow plays. The problem with this particular format is that one, it takes up a whole bunch of your code window. So if you're coding um, on a timeline that's also on your screen, you're not going to have a lot of room on your screen for that video. And the second issue is, is it's really hard to find the labels when you really need to, especially in basketball, which is such a high paced sport. So what's the alternative? The alternative that we recommend is something that looks like this. As you can see, it's already a lot smaller, but also it's much easier to find the plays that you're looking for. So for example, if I click play calls, I'm going to get all of my play call labels here. If I click transition, here are all of my transition plays, sideline out of bounds plays, and baseline out of bounds plays. So how do we get something that's like this, where we have all the plays that we need in a much more organized format in a much smaller space? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. I'm going to drag down a button here. And I'm going to make this a toggle button. So code button to action button. And then make movie to toggle. And I'm going to give this an ID of play sheet 01. Now button IDs are nice in that we can give the button a name without having to change its actual name. It's going to be consistent no matter what we call the actual play call sheet here. So we're going to call this early offense. I'm going to copy this and have our second button here. And I'm going to make this play sheet 02. And I'm going to make this our, um, with, let's go transition plays. Actually, we've already got early offense. Let's go sideline out of bounds plays. make one more and we'll go this is going to be our baseline out of bound plays and we're going to make the play sheet play sheet 03 now you can have as many play sheets as you want as you see here I've got four I'm just going to have one here with three but you could have ten play sheets five play sheets seven play sheets two play sheets it's really up to you it's just really nice because we can have these toggle buttons as concise buttons and then all the labels below. So now I've got my three toggle buttons here. Play sheet 01, as you can see on the scrape bar down the bottom. Play sheet 01, play sheet 02, and play sheet 03. I'm now going to create active uh, exclusive links between these toggle buttons. So only one of these toggle buttons can be on at a time. So holding down the control key on my keyboard, connect early offense to sideline out of bounds, and then sideline out of bounds to baseline out of bounds. I'm then going to drag down a label and here we're going to go into the scripting but before I go to the scripting I want to make sure I give my label a group I always give labels groups it's really important that especially once you've coded a game that the groups are going to help categorize these labels not only in the matrix but also in the sorter if you use the sorter usually the well the label name is the name of the column in the sorter so it's always going to be helpful to categorize your labels so they're easier to find when you're doing your presentations and your further analysis. So I'm going to make this group play calls and come into the scripting. So the reason we give those buttons, those button IDs, is there's something that we can now refer to. Because though this current play sheet is called early offense, we might want to change it to transition offense. So to make sure we don't have to change the scripting if we do that, the button ID allows us to just keep a consistent name throughout. So if it's going to be our first line of script, button, hashtag, put in quotation marks this button ID, so play sheet 01, state equals 1. Now toggle buttons are binary, which means they can either be pushed down or pushed up. A push down button is equals one. 
a pushed up button is equal zero. So we want to say if this button is pushed down, we want to give it a command, rename, let's just call it early offense play one. And then I'm going to close that bracket. Now the really nice thing about scripting is once you do it once, you don't really have to do it again. So I'm going to come down here, change this to play sheet 02, and rename Cylan out of bounds play one. I'm going to copy this back down, play sheet 03, and make this baseline out of bounds play one. So we've got our early offense play our sideline out of bounds play and our baseline out of bounds play. That means when I click early offense, it's going to be early offense play one. And because I have these two buttons here exclusively linked, when I click sideline out of bounds, it's going to turn off early offense. It's going to make my label sideline out of bounds play one. And because again, it's exclusively linked to baseline out of bounds, when I click that, it's going to turn sideline out of bounds off and rename my play again. And just like I said, once you've done the scripting once, you don't have to do it again. So I'm going to copy this label, copy and paste. Just bring that beside here. And now, instead of just making it out of bounds play one, I'm just going to make it out of bounds play two, two, and two. Let's make one more label. And we can make this three, three, and three. So now when I click early offense, we're going to get early offense play one, two, and three. Side out of bounds play one, two, and three. And then baseline out of bounds play one, two, and three. So we're giving each label three different names. So we're essentially stacking three buttons on top of one without actually having to use three buttons. We're just using scripting, button IDs, and exclusive links. So what I just made with you here is a much more reduced version of what I have here on the right. So play call one, two, and then all my play calls below. Transition plays, sideline out of bounds plays, and baseline out of bounds plays. So that's how we recommend formatting your labels for play calls. Hopefully that was helpful, and thank you for watching.